Good morning, folks. A heavy heart this morning. The man who could righteously make a claim is the biggest supporter of this community, the former purveyor of the weekly top comments from these pages. Mr. Bounce a reply off this comment. Mr. Always a part of Fly on the Wall. Jerome. Left this world October 30th. The only comment I'll make in today's section will bounce one for him one last time to say goodbye. I know many of you will join me. Let's turn our attention to the South China Sea where Typhoon Krosa has done its damage to the Philippines is now set to dive right for the Vietnam coastline, about the 15th one this year. We have yet another storm in the eastern Pacific. This one is set to swing up and encounter the coastline at the end of the weekend. The infrared images show we have some serious energy in that compact system. A bit next level on one topic. I've been watching the Arctic ice return up north. Remember how the Antarctic down south is setting surface records along with the northern ice return? Neither of which reveals the real underside melting, but on the topic of lots of different, confusing, moving parts combined with climate chaos. This article discuss some of the potential oopsie daisies our geoengineers might pick by accident. I have a lot of videos on weather modification and SRM, which this community insists on calling chemtrails because they're allergic to not being mocked. If you are baffled by my statement, please do some homework on the real discourse from both sides. Start with the University of Montana. Their program is directed at ethics and morality in geoengineering, so it is the place to start for us. You also have interviews from experts arguing on both sides. I've linked the book page as well. Both sides laid out in total, but it's pretty expensive. So if you are into primary research on the application or theory of SRM and other geoengineering, weather modification, everything involved with it, the amount of legitimate information coming out is more than any of you or I can read in my lifetime. Took a couple mid-level solar flares in the last day, but no major energy events, and the mid-level flares have no major CMEs. Can't say the same off the backside facing away from Earth. We definitively had a major X-flare on the backside, detected by the stereo spacecraft. Now as for the Earth-facing flare potential, the lone danger remains on the southern trailer where bipolarity can be found within that penumbral region. That's the Delta class. We also have a beast on the limb incoming eyes on that one. Solar wind showing moderate density and falling speed. The electrons are even recovering. The earth facing corona holes on the left continue to weaken throughout the day and we are taking a break from the quakes. Watch for a power return, more flaring and Saturn set to hide behind our star the next few days. Fly on the wall discussions today won't be the same. Goodbye night man. Eyes open. No fear it's 6 15 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone. Thank you.